Part of why the Oregon coast is so popular are the many unique and beautiful viewpoints. But like a lot of these popular nature attractions, a trip here is not always successful. Surprisingly, there are right and wrong ways to visit natural bridges. At the southern Oregon coast is Samuel H. Boardman Scenic Corridor. This linear state park includes many viewpoints and beaches, all worth visiting. Natural Bridges is one of the more popular attractions because it is so accessible and photogenic. There are seven natural bridges in total, but all the pictures we see are of two main bridges. A few trails go around the cove and right to the bridges, but they can be dangerous. Our beautiful nature landmarks tend to lure people in, and sometimes accidents happen. Only a hundred feet from the parking lot is a viewing platform for natural bridges. This is the safe way to visit natural bridges that I would recommend to anyone. Most visitors make a quick stop at the viewing platform and leave. Rock formations like these natural bridges are a product of erosion. They form with waves crashing against them for a long period of time. Starting as a small crack or dent, each wave slowly erodes the rock into a cave. As a sea cave gets larger, parts of the roof weaken and collapse. The bridges that remain will eventually fall as the rock around them erodes. Part of the intrigue of the bridges is that they're a temporary landmark, but we might not see them fall in our lifetime. While most people stick to the viewing platform, some go for the trails down towards the bridges. The trails can lead to more good views, but that is where many accidents have happened. The safer parts of the trail are rough and often slippery with mud. The real dangerous parts are when the trail has a big drop off on the side. What has gotten people into trouble at natural bridges is trying to get as close as possible to the edge for a special view. All these routes could cause a trip and a bad fall here would be deadly. With such big consequences when falling, I wouldn't recommend these side trails. At the time, I felt comfortable enough taking them, but so do the people who have fallen. When I got to this exposed climb part, I decided to stop there. I was already pushing it with the cliffside route staircase and didn't feel like adding more danger to my trip. While I have been seen doing dangerous things on video, we all do our own risk assessment differently. 
Plus, my daughters already think I'm the bravest man in the world, so I don't really feel the need to prove anything right now. Natural Bridges has been a hot spot for search and rescue calls. Many people have fallen here, with some getting badly injured, and some have died. During this time of year in 2021, someone fell to their death on this trail. Then, the next year in 2022, another person died falling on the same trail. Hopefully, people take extra caution and avoid a third year in a row of deaths at natural bridges. With nature photography like this, the stakes are high and the reward is low, so it is best to play it safe. Time of day is an important factor when trying to photograph natural bridges. Later in the day, the sun is over the ocean, causing water and sky to be too white and the rocks to be too dark. Since it is a quick stop with many nearby attractions, it's worth visiting a couple times to see different lighting and tides. Determined to get some good shots, I headed to Natural Bridges before sunrise. It takes some extra effort to wake up early and deal with the cold, but I never regret doing it. You often get these nice spots to yourself when braving less than ideal conditions. As the sun came up, I tried some different focal lengths and camera settings to make sure I would get at least one good shot of the natural bridges. The guardrail there gets in the way of most tripod heights, so you have to either go over or under it. My most successful framing came from being right on the edge of the platform floor. The colorful pink sunrise colors I imagined never showed up, but the sea cliffs and caves were still a pleasant sight. I was happy to have a peaceful and mostly safe experience of capturing natural bridges. A visit can go wrong at this landmark. You could get bad pictures, not enjoy the view, get badly injured or even die. But with a little flexibility and caution, Natural Bridges is a great part of a trip to the southern Oregon coast.